Laser gun. Oh, hold on a minute. What was that? I think that is a laser gun. We all have so much fun playing laser tag, which is why today's topic is lasers. Lasers are used all the time in our day-to-day -day life for hair removal treatment, weapons, surgery, and electronics. So let's first talk about the types of lamps. Do you see this? This is an LED lamp. This one is a CFL lamp. And the last one you see here is an incandescent lamp. We all know lasers are devices that release light. But they are very different from our day-to-day -day light bulbs or LEDs. Did you know that laser is actually an acronym? It stands for Light Amplification by Stimulated Emission of radiation. So what is so special about a laser? Lasers are very special devices. Why? Because they work on the basic principle of coherence. Do you see this picture? It shows two kinds of light. On the left side, we have coherent light and on the right side, we have incoherent light. Now the difference between these two lights are pretty simple to see. Coherent light, as you can see, all the light waves line up. They are together and go the same direction and pattern. These light waves are called in phase because all these light waves line up with each other, so they are in phase. Versus incoherent light, as you can clearly tell, all the light waves are mixed together. So incoherent light is used in our day-to-day -day light bulbs, which is why our day-to-day -day light bulbs diffuse the light and are capable of lighting up a full room. But lasers, no, they emit coherent light, which is why they are able to focus their light on a specific point very tightly and precisely, which also gives a steady stream of light. So that is the difference between coherent and incoherent light. Lasers emit coherent light. So why is coherence so important? Coherence is important because all the photons have their energy together and then we can focus that light on a small spot over a specific distance. Now what are photons? Photon is the basic unit of all light and they are always in motion. Another reason that lasers are so special is power. Lasers make it possible to deliver high, intense energy and light to a very small area. So how do lasers get so much power? So as you can see in this picture, there are two types of light wave collisions, constructive and destructive. When two light waves collide, and those two light waves are coherent, which means that they line up with each other and they are in phase, that gives you a constructive collision. And what happens is once those two light waves collide, they amplify and create a bigger light wave. Now, destructive collision is when two light waves that are not in phase or incoherent light waves collide. Then they create a regular light ray that is diffused. So if we come back to the question, why are lasers so powerful? So as you can see in this picture, this is the inside of a laser cavity. There is a light source, and on the two sides, there are two different types of mirrors. 
On one side, there is a regular mirror, and on the other side, there is a partial mirror, in which some light goes through and some light reflects off. So as the regular light source releases light, some of the light is diffused and goes at an angle, which is a tilted light ray. At some point, that light ray escapes the cavity. But the light that goes parallel to the cavity, that light ray reflects back off the partial mirror. And as we saw in this picture before, when two light rays that are in phase collide, they amplify and become bigger. So since this middle light ray came back and collided with itself, can you guess what happened? It amplified and it became larger and bigger. And as it continued reflecting back and forth and continued to collide, it continued to amplify more and more until the beam that was sent out is very, very powerful. So the first laser was built in 1960 by scientist Theodore H. Maimon. And it was actually based off of discoveries made by two other scientists, Charles Hard Towns and Arthur Leonard Shkowalwo. Lasers are used for many things. Communication. They're used for medicine and surgery all the time. Lasers are perfect for eye surgery because our eye is a very delicate organ and lasers can give high power very precisely. Lasers are used in electronics to read the binary code on the disc. And because lasers have such high power, lasers are also used in weapons all the time. Even something as simple as our scanning barcode when we go shopping is also a laser. So lasers are a very cool piece of technology that is still evolving every day to get stronger and better. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you. Bye.